hello everyone uh, today we are going to have a look as how uh, we can create uh, hyperlinks within the document or how we can create the interactive table of contents and how we can basically create the hyperlinks as well so as you can see in this document here is the cover page and as i click on the table of contents it takes me to the table of contents and from the table of content if i click on let's say on the storyboard it will take me to this page if i just want to go back to the table of content i will click here and the same way to the other pages so basically this is not a very uh, complex technique just by following some simple steps we can do that okay now here is the same document that we created it is in the adobe indesign so what we are going to do just select the uh, rectangle frame tool and create a rectangle frame around this button that is the table of content and we have to transform this frame to the button in order to create the frame we can go to windows interactive and here you can see that the button and forms option the bookmarks options so we can just enable it from here okay so first of all we have to create the bookmarks as we uh, have to create the destination where where the doc uh, where will be the destination of the clickable button so for this let's just for an example here is a page number four go to bookmark and click on the bookmark three and let's decide its name to typography okay here is a b movie go to page number five and from here create b movie and the same way we can create the other as well like uh, for the table of content we have already created a bookmark of the toc okay now here is the uh, table of content we created the uh, rectangle frame okay from here button select the type button and in the event click the on click it means that when we click on the button it will take us to the destination and from here on the action step go to destination and in the destination you have to select toc which means that if we click on this uh, button it will take us to the table of content page okay in order to duplicate it just simply control c and click control v here here and here so basically it will you do not need to create again and again the destination it you just paste it and it will take to your destination okay now here is the table of content page just for an example i'm just showing you uh, we created a bookmark of typography so let's create a frame here okay and transform it into button again on click and select the destination to b movie uh, okay no typography okay so when we click on the typography it will take us to the typography page here like this so when we create the pdf i will also show you as how these links are working one additional thing that i want to tell you that let's suppose this is a thumbnail of some video how we can make it interactive and clickable so when the users view the document page and click on this thumbnail it will take to the video link uh, on the youtube or some other link so i have created a frame right click on it hyperlink new hyperlink let's suppose i am just entering the hyperlink of my youtube channel okay just make it okay and save it now simply go to export and create the pdf we have created the pdf now this is the pdf that we have just created so as you can see that as soon as i just click on the table of content page it took me to here okay if i click on the typography page it took me to the typography page and from here i can go to back to the table of content page okay now for the video as you can see that this this was the video so we have incorporated a hyperlink in it and as soon as we click on this hyperlink it will take me to the youtube page so basically this these are just the small uh, basic tips and tricks that we can incorporate in our document and make it interactive be it your presentation magazine flyer brochure the same method will be applied to 
every document and i believe that you will you must have found this tutorial very much handy and it will bring up good results to you